Hello, welcome to Friday. I forgot the calendar. The 24th. And today it's going to be just talking about games and such because I haven't really talked about it. But before I mention, uh, I did vlog yesterday. Um, it was Fee's graduation for grade 8. And um, I did get a good amount of footage and some. And we went out for food. Well, everyone but Fee because he had his own dinner. But um, I was talking to Fee and he said that teachers would want privacy so I decided to, we decided to just scrap the whole day. So if you were wondering about that, so here you go. Um, today I'm going to talk about certain games that I've collected. You have seen my Origins Edition Overwatch which was pretty pricey but I wanted a physical copy because I like physical copies and it looks really nice holding on to it. Um, just recently. I like recently today. I just got Tokyo Mirage Session, the fire, the the Fire Emblem Shin Megami Tensei crossover game. It's um, I heard a lot of mixed things, but the mixed negatives are is that I don't mind that much. It's I heard it's pretty slow, but I'll probably get used to it. I'm going to get Zero Time Dilemma eventually, and such. I got if you look over here. There is Danganronpa one and two because I had to. I want uh, if he wanted to get that, and I got. I, I think it's right here. No, no, this is fates. I have. Hold on. I have. Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Rhythm Heaven's a really fun game, and I enjoy it a lot. And it's going to be fantastically fun. A lot of. Um, I love rhythm games if you haven't noticed and I am enjoying the hell out of the game and I can't wait to play it. Yeah, that I think that's pretty much it for the games. I'm going to talk about uh, Fates later on and that's going to consist of the vlog because I'm going to go to Montreal soon and everything. Alright, I'm currently uploading, un installing a Unreal Engine. I got my Logic, con I got a Logic Controller. I, I, well, this is mine. I bought that. Uh, but I lent it just a while ago and now I got it back. Anyways, the reason why I got the... Oh, I'm doing this right now is because I got the demo to Blaster and Ritual of the Night. Uh, I backed this game. It's the Castlevania successor by Koji Igarashi. And I'm looking forward to it. Mainly because it, I backed a lot of money on this and I got the demo. So I'm really looking forward to check this out. Play it. See if I'm good at it because I've never played a Metro Castlevania game ever. And I just thought it was cool. So so I'm going to try it out and then I'm going to play Tokyo Mirage Sessions and talk about feats. Well, that was incredibly fun. But let's start, yeah, it was, it was, it was actually really, it was very fun. I had fun exploring and everything and it, it was cool to try it out. And I had, I, I want, um, I'm glad I'm back in this project. Hopefully this game goes out real, this game goes really well. And yeah. Oh my god, there's so many vlogs in December. Like, December was actually a lot of stuff, considering that, um, uh, there's a bunch of Christmas shopping stuff, talking about Smash, uh, Amy's birthday, Christmas, Grill Wolf Lodge, and then Ryan's birthday, and then last one's New Year's. There's a lot, there's a lot to work on, so I'm gonna drop in a couple, a uh, few December uploads. Um, I'm not gonna drop in too much, cause, um, we're gonna go to Montreal in a moment. So, I don't want that to be cluttered. I might just go up to Amy's birthday, but that's about it. So, yeah. Um, I'm working really hard on the vlogs, actually, surprisingly. And um, December was gonna, was one of the biggest hurdles because of all those events, but I got those rendered. I, got, I just had to get them uploaded soon enough. So hopefully that works. I just don't. I just cannot get another copyright strike that restricts my videos to 15 minutes. So I don't want. I, I don't want to cut down anything else because that was another reason I had a copyright strike. And um, the the wedding was split into three parts because well to be fair I wanted to separate it into like separate parts, but I had to cut them down to below 15 minutes. So that's the thing. All right, so it's time for the long talk about Fire Emblem Fates. So let's talk Fates. So um, I, I had a vlog 
about Fates, or I didn't really have a vlog about Fates, but like I had, but it was on February where I bought Fates, and um, at that time, I decided to do a three three route run. I was gonna play. I have a special. I had the special edition, which came with Conquest, Birthright, and Revelation. So I decided to get do all three of them at the same time. Progress each chapter. Progress through a chapter, and then switch to the next one. So this is very exper This is a very experimental kind of thing. Um, I wanted to get there. I wanted to like try to get all the experience in, or like try to. I wanted to try this out, and this kind of went well. Kind of. Again, this went kind of well. Um, initially, I wanted to play Revelation, but it was recommended to play both versions, like play either or to get some knowledge in and they were right revolution has a lot of knowledge has a lot of info that you probably would have missed out on if you if you haven't if you haven't played both either or ver either version and um each route is very has the have its its own experience like um revelation is the true route but it doesn't really end try like dramatically like the endings in uh, birthright and conquest had this very like motivational had a lot of motivation and such but the revelation just ends but it, it ends fairly well he has like a great happy ending and everything and the final boss is pretty damn cool all the bosses are cool except for conquest that was that was a pain and yeah revelation had a lot of like weird levels Weird, unique levels that kind of irritated me back. Oh, well, back in the early ones, um, they, it took me like 50 turns to do one chapter. It was a that was that was ridiculous. That was dumb. Um, because I like to take my time. And um, Birthright what went by really fast. I decided to just grind a lot. Well, actually, I decided to grind a lot for each um for each game, and everything. I went. I I pulled the awakening and. Did all of them? Um, Try to max the characters I would use the most, and just be just storm through the game. I kind of like I like doing that, so that's that's kind of fault in mine because I got the DLC, DLC and everything, and I did that in Conquest too. Uh, back at, near the end of the game, because uh, the end of the game, the end of the Conquest was ridiculous. I did not like it at all. It was just there was just a lot of pressure, un unneeded pressure, and it, it it felt like I needed to grind a little bit, but I said screw it and grinded the entirety of it. Uh, Twenty and uh, the rest of the game went was pretty easy because I grinded, so I kind of I kind of cheated. So next time I do it, I'm going to try to restrict myself from using that that thing. So uh, using the DLC. And everything. Uh, Birthright, I'd say is fine. Um, I after the I actually did all the things, uh, so I decided to just do them. So I just doing them individually. I'm starting with Birthright, then Revelation, then Conquest, just by difficulty. So I'm doing them on hard mode, except for Conquest. I feel like I'm not gonna do well on Conquest, so I don't want to. I feel like I'll just die on Conquest. I I'm not up for that challenge, but I am gonna challenge myself to not. Um, use the level grinding, the EXP camp DLC. So um, that's that's the other thing I, and I had to do. So Birthright was very simple. It was very simple, and the characters were really good. Especially Takumi. Takumi was incre was ridiculous. He was really overpowered, and he he his Fujin Yumi would just destroy anyone in two hits. And he would always strike twice, so that was just that was so troublesome to deal with in conquest, and like you only need talk to me and you need you kind of need to talk to me in birthright and birthright was very again birthright was very simple it was just very it was just like the, these are the bad guys kill them kind of things and then it was just very normal it was like the most basic fire emblem game. In terms of plot, and it was, it was very normal to be uh, to be uh, frank. It was very simple, simplistic, and it was like without the choice and without revelation, you would probably pick. You probably go Hoshido most of the. It was like 
there was a story built around all these things. Actually, the routes were actually really like well done. Like these games would have been their own separate kind of version or like their own separate canon also. So that's also neat and everything. Like um, each ch each route has like 27 chapters and that's basically big and a lot of paralogs. So that's already bigger than Awakening. The castle's already the castle is awesome. Um, grinding is less is more restrictive and that and I cuz I exploited the hell out of that in Awakening. So that's actually kind of a plus to make the difficulty a little better, I guess, it was to accept to access the difficulty and everything, or like just to maintain the difficulty and such. And some of the levels were actually pretty neat. Um, personally, I think Revelation was the best because it's the true. It's basically the true route, and you get every single character in the game, kind of. Uh, some characters are kind of restricted per like game. And I would say this is this is a pretty good one. This is a pretty good game. Um, I don't know if I like um, the characters were. I kind of I enjoyed most of the characters. Um, some I don't really like using. And um, if I if I would compare this from Awakening, this is a big step up. But I would say um. I would prefer Fates. I would play Fates more than Awakening, mainly because I'm practically done with Awakening. It, and mainly because Fates is a really big game. Fates is an incredibly large game. And playing all, if you're trying to do all three games or trying to get everything, and knowing me, I'll probably try to get all the supports. It's going to be really long. It's going to be incredibly long. And um, I already spent a lot of time in all these games. I spent. Practically like over 200 hours so far and still counting. I think I'm right past 300. So very that's ridiculous and such so ho Hopefully this game doesn't kill me and everything so Yeah, I I'm like fates is still gonna be a game that I'm going to continuously play kind of like awakening by like yeah, pretty much and I have this Camila keychain just to let you know who is my waifu and everything. So now you know. Well, Fates is again Fates is great. Um, it's really fun and such. So I'm gonna try it. Uh, if he if he's getting obsessed with like Wi-Fi battles and he loves doing those. And that's just taking your sweet time alongside that. So, and yeah, Fates. I, I beat Fates, but I'm still going to play. That's basically how the game works. Well, that's my thoughts about it. So that's going to be it. I'm going to be packing up for Montreal. And then I'm going to be playing some Tokyo Mirage sessions. Pack up for Montreal. And then go there tomorrow. So that's going to be it for today. So, that's, well, yeah. <coughs> that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time where I'm going to be in Montreal and I'm probably going to start editing that, like, start working on it on Monday and such. So there's not going to be any vlogs uh, over the weekend, unfortunately. So, got to work on that.